He is the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Paul Cantabane. Hey, coach, um, tonight I expected a game effort from Messiah. You guys came out and played a really high level early on and, and really sort of took care of business from the get-go. Yeah, I think we're playing much better. I think we were really kind of like, you know, I think Lynchburg might have done us a favor by kicking us in the teeth in that second half. And ever since that point, we've played much better. You know, Messiah's had some great results. They played some really good teams. And they got two excellent attackmen, and I thought we did a good job controlling them. But, uh, you know, when JB's winning face-offs for us and we're moving the ball offense, we came out, we just executed so well early, and we were so clean. No turnovers, only three in the first half, and I thought we just operated very well and we shot the ball well, and they're doing a much better job of that. So that's what we got, and uh, we're playing well, and hopefully it continues. And Messiah's a quality team, and to beat a team like that the way we did today shows that we're we're playing better, and uh, hopefully we can continue it. Coach, we joked before the game about maybe asking JT to go double digits every game. Well, tonight you had him go for nine and Ethan Christensen go for ten. Pretty nice to have 19 combined points from two of your top attackers. Yeah, you know, I mean, Ethan's really done a great job. You know, we've been working. He's a, you know, he's a midfielder playing attack, and he's helping us out and we've been working on the little things for him to get better how to uh, play like an attackman and do things to get open to get us because he's such a great feeder and now he's able to do that and, and kind of set defensemen up and play that game when you're an attackman you got to learn how to do that and he's getting much better at learning his defensemen how to set them up and get into places and when JT scoring is taking a lot of that attention and everybody's really taking uh, Tatum away because he's so good inside and so you know Ethan's doing a great job and we're really happy where we're going and and uh and JT's just doing what he does yeah. you know what I mean he gets open and he gets shots he's going to score goals because he's so talented he's going to make some dumb plays and we got to live with that we <laughs> wish we didn't have as many, but uh, we got to live with that. And uh, but uh, we're starting to do things. And I think you know Sam Ross is still playing real well in the goal, and he's helping us out. I, I wanted to also point out Harrison Fisher from your first team midfield. Yeah. He had four tonight and five points for the game. And you know a guy that's really taken advantage of his opportunities this last couple seasons. Yeah, Harrison's a kid we've challenged a lot. You know he's you know we needed him to play tougher, do tougher things. And I think he's starting to understand that now as a full time thing. He's getting there. And with all the changes we had to make and put people in different spots, you know he's starting to understand how to play. And a career high four goals for him. It's it's outstanding to see him start doing things now and he's starting to shoot the ball so well now I think that really helps Kyle Karasian out a little bit and Gray McKee out a little bit because now he's starting to really shoot the ball well and he has to be accounted for. Uh, coach does it mean anything I, look you guys had played such a brutal schedule so we know that was so much of the reason why you started out 0-5 but to get back to a reset spot now at 6-6 six and six for the season does that mean something to your guys? Well it does you know I think you know that's why today we played so well I think is that the, you know the spotlight doesn't matter to us you know we played so many big games so many teams we've been in the situations we're not going to see any play players that have been better than we've seen you know so we understand where it's going so I think our team understands the mentality and, and they like each other which is great about the team is that they really like each other and they want to get better they understand what to do and uh, I think our leadership's been really well this year so we're happy to get back to six and six it was a long road to get here but uh get back to that Mendoza line so to speak and you know 500 and hopefully you know we can put a couple on top next week coach again they put this light right in front of me so I don't see who it is that you brought up you got Ethan here for oh, you of so. course hey, 10 points tonight of course you're gonna bring yeah, Ethan up. You know, you gotta get some, yeah, you gotta right. some New Jersey in the house every <laughs> once in a while <laughs> hey coach congratulations Congratulations on a win. We'll see you uh, uh, back next week next as week. you're on the road on Wednesday. Thank you very much. Coach Paul Cantabene joining us after a great win for the Mustangs.